is we had a, a PhD student in mm-hmm. last night and we were chatting to him about the events of Christchurch. Uh-huh. Horrific events, terrorist attack. I'm not mm-hmm. going to drop that word. I'm concerned that the media is starting to talk about all the events in Christchurch. They weren't events. It no, was no, a it was, terrorist attack. It was a Nazi terrorist attack. Yes, yes. absolutely. White supremacist, Nazi. We're not, we're not, I'm not going to refer to them as, you know, two weeks ago, the terrible happenings. No, no, no. It was a terrorist attack. I, I mean, I've got, so I've got daughters eight and six and uh, strange names. That's, that's what we went for. Uh, and, uh, and um, I, you know, I had to talk to them about that. Mm. And um, we, they got home on, on the Friday afternoon and... Um, and uh, and my eldest, she's you know they're both very sharp, but my eldest saw that I had a face, and um, and my and my wife had heard as well, had heard the news, and um, and we didn't really know how to talk to them about it then, so we just um, we just sent them upstairs, and they watched TV for three hours, which is very unusual for us. Right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, girls. Yeah. You should just go. Yeah, and go and watch TV because yeah. we, we obviously go and watch Netflix. We were glued to the news, and yeah, we of course. didn't really want uh, them to see that. So, but the next morning, like uh, yeah, we sort of sat them down and had a had a proper chat, and it was, um, you know, um, they they understood to a certain degree but they did ask why why would someone do that yeah and I, and I had to explain the concept of a nazi it was the only way i could um really explain i, I didn't say na- white supremacist because i thought that was probably a concept that was maybe too complex but just uh, i just said a nazi is someone who hates other people that aren't like them right yeah which is not entirely accurate you said six and eight how do they how six and eight, yeah. did they they take that on board is that yeah they understood yes but particularly the eight-year-old she's um you know that they, they develop that sort of sense of empathy around seven and eight apparently. Mm. and uh yeah she definitely did and you know she was definitely more affected by it than the, than the younger one who was sad but mm. um didn't quite understand you know did you have any any gigs and stuff on around those days? Did you approach things differently for the next couple of I, days? I didn't actually. Um, I had um, I, I didn't have anything until the sort of the following weekend, um, co- just coincidentally. But uh, um, the, the classic comedy bar in, in Auckland that they they went ahead that night on wow. on, on the Friday. Um, some other I know that some other shows got cancelled. I, I was actually going to play a. Uh, a, a fundraising cricket game on the Sunday for the police, mm. and uh, and that got cancelled. And there was no police left in Auckland. Well, no, I think that was it. You know, yeah. they, they they didn't really say why. They said because of the you know events in Christchurch, mm. but uh, we, we we're not going to go ahead. Um, but I it sort of worked out later that it's because all the cops are on high alert. I yeah. think I think they're working more shifts around the clock and it is difficult to buy all those googlies with a glock attached to your to your hip for safety yeah it's so weird seeing cops with sidearms yeah it's a it's a fascinating thing it's a it's horrific i just yeah it's 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 unfathomable um you guys are going to you guys being your mates, yep. group of comedians, yep. we, we, you're yep. going to do something for it. So that weekend, I felt helpless, as many of us did, and mm-hmm. I, um, I thought, well, I, I have, I have few discernible skills, but one of them is putting on comedy gigs. So yeah. I, uh, that's the only thing I could think to do. And so, um, the Court Theatre in, in in Christchurch, she's given us a venue for free, and um, everyone. There's a group of uh, local comics who are going on, but uh, I think there's seven of us who are paying uh, our own flights down from Auckland to to go and, um, you know, and and perform in Christchurch. We wanted to do it in Christchurch as well, because not only are we raising money, but we also want to say, Nazi punks, fuck off. (laughs) Is that going to be the title of the? It should be, that should eh? be the title of the Nazi <laughs> Nazi punks fuck off. Yeah, it should I, be. I, I, you know what? <laughs> hey, you know what? Okay, sorry, this is the marketer in me. I would buy that T-shirt. Yeah. Well, you know it's a song, right? The Dead Kennedys. Song. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I would buy that T-shirt. Mm. I mean, you're looking at fundraising. It's a great idea. I would buy that T-shirt. Yeah, I think you probably wouldn't have it in my size, but I would buy that T-shirt. <laughs> so just if you want to make, make some fun, go go connect with uh, Mister Vintage as well. If the people are going to help out. Right. I'll just Nazi punks fuck off I'll just call Jello Biafra and so, <laughs> make sure that he's okay with us making some money off his song um, well then just change it slightly Nazi yeah. with an S <laughs> Nazi no that might get confusing <laughs> that after that yeah, exactly so when is that gig uh, 10th of April 
So that's only a couple of weeks away. Yeah, I think it's almost sold out. So it's, right, uh, it's uh, we we did a thing where we we're like tickets are thirty dollars, or you can pay more. And yep. uh, a bunch of people have paid like a hundred dollars. Okay, recording it. No, there we go. We, there's an opportunity. We should, live, we should live stream it. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. We can, Jace, are we available? Why not? There you go. That, that, that was We're actually, available. Multi camera live stream. We can do that for you. Please, let's do it. We actually did. Actually, a, you, could, you know, you could do that and you could, you could set up a paywall and you could raise more money. Joe, I think that was what we did when um, some, um, Wade Jackson uh, put on a fundraiser in Auckland for the Christchurch earthquake. Right. And, uh, and we sold out the Civic. Which wow. is huge, yeah. like three thousand people, two yeah. and a half, or something like that, and they live streamed it and put up a paywall and made heaps of money off that. Yeah, there That's you go.